it's time to get off of the couch. We've all got goals. We've all got goals. Whether it's at work, maybe in school, maybe on the track, maybe on the cross country course, we're all striving towards something. We gotta put one foot in front of the other. Whether it's daytime, nighttime, whether it's cold, whether it's warm, no matter the weather, we gotta lace up our shoes and get out the door. We gotta not be afraid to challenge ourselves, to strive for greatness in whatever we might be doing throughout our day. Maybe it's at work, maybe it's in your schoolwork, maybe it's on the cross country course. We all have goals and we can strive to meet those goals, but we gotta put one foot in front of the other. can't be afraid to challenge ourselves to find that pain threshold and meet the pain threshold and yes even push ourselves through that pain threshold and you know it's gonna hurt you just gotta embrace it embrace that pain whether you're in a track workout whether you're running up a mountain maybe you're doing a half marathon training session whatever it might be maybe you're just waking up at 5 a.m. to squeeze in three miles because you got to catch the train to work we're all in different situations. We all have different circumstances that we're dealing with throughout our lives. But guess what? If we strive together, encourage each other, to push each other, we can achieve greatness. And not just in running, but in life in general. key ingredients to meeting goals, to pushing ourselves through that pain. Consistency and patience. Consistency and patience. With those two ingredients, I'm telling you, long distance running is made for those two words. If we are consistent in our training, and if we are patient with our training, and allow our aerobic system to develop, allow our muscles to get stronger, if we are patient and consistent, great things will come to us in long distance running, I promise. And maybe you're in middle school and you wanna make the varsity cross country team as a freshman, now is the time to start training. Maybe you're a senior in high school and you're looking at colleges and you're like, wait a minute, I haven't been recruited, but I think I can push myself to make the varsity cross country team at my respective university. Maybe you're a 45 year old with four kids at home and you want to run your first marathon in 2019, now is the time to lace up the shoes and start training. Don't be afraid to hold me accountable to what I'm saying. This is not just me talking, like this is 20 years of running experience communicating to YouTube onto your screen. And so guys and ladies, don't be afraid to get off the couch.
Happy Halloween, YouTube. <sighs> feeling better, feeling better. Stretch, massage, heat. Stretch, massage, heat. I don't, I don't know. I'm just listening to your guys' ideas, and sure enough, maybe feels 8% better today, the PF, so that's a good step in the right direction. All right, stay tuned for the PEG35 trail test review, but before that, a little Halloween rendition, some tradition out there, out on the patio. Come on, come on, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday! Check our tree! Check our tree! Check our tree! Check our tree! Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. That was fun. That was a good time. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you and welcome to the keyword of the day. It's mud. It's mud for the muddy Nike Pegasus 35. That's right. I put these guys through the test today on the trails. First time out on the trails in this shoe. And listen, I realize this is more of a road shoe, but if you know my background a little bit in running, I love the trails. I cannot stay off them. Like, I don't mind the roads. In fact, I, I enjoy, I'm enjoying getting kind of back reconnected to the pavement, but trails is really my, my first passion when it comes to long distance running. And so I hope you gleaned a little motivation, a little inspiration from that cinematic trail adventure up in Boulder, Colorado. And basically on those trails, I did feel the rocks through the outsole of this shoe. Not major, but occasionally I stepped on some pokey rocks and listen, it did not hurt. I just felt them. And so if you're doing, you know, a 15 mile trail run on kind of rocky paths, you may not want to wear this shoe. Okay, that was the first drawback. The first positive for this shoe on the trails. I was not slipping around and look how muddy these things are. Like the, the, the tread, the lugs on the bottom are actually pretty good for a road shoe. Another positive about this shoe is the toe box. I feel like the toe box is where your toes are, and I love this upper and how it just wraps so snugly around your toes without any seams. So the beauty of a lot of Nike shoes these days is that they're, the seams in the shoe are almost non-existent with respect to the upper. Asics, um, not really, Brooks, or sorry, New Balance is getting away from it as well. But definitely, like I tried out some Asics yesterday in a running shoe store at Roadrunner Sports, and oh, I could I could visually see the seams in the in the upper, and I was it it, it made me cringe because I was like, oh my gosh, that's a blister waiting to happen. Well, I, and again, I don't know. I haven't tried Asics in a long time, so if you're an Asics fan, I apologize. Maybe let me down know it down in the comments if you love Asics. But for me, this upper was amazing, and I didn't feel any seams through those rocky trails today. It was just nice and smooth and clean and crisp. And then the only other drawback is that the Nike Zoom uh, midsole right through here, the Nike Zoom midsole, it's it, it's going to break down real quick. And remember, I mentioned yesterday, like all these running shoes that I'm purchasing and I'm using, I'm I'm using them. I'm not just, you know, buying them for the for the heck of it. Like I am taking these things to the test in part because obviously I love running. I want to stay fit but I also want to put them through the ringer for you guys so that you guys don't go out and buy this shoe for the trails if I'm telling you like don't go do it now if you're going on like a smooth gravel path perfect or a nice smooth dirt road awesome you can do it once again I fully realize this shoe is not a trail shoe this is a road shoe I probably will not be taking this back out on any trails ever it was fun to test out for you guys just to see in the mud and through the rocks uh, and I'm glad I did it just to just to make sure. And again, it's a good, it's a great. Oh, I look my planter, my PF felt it felt good today. It felt good. Like I, I think I've made a little step forward, little step. So 
Oh, I'm excited. All right, question of the day. I could go on and on. I will digress. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. It's a great shoe, but stick to the roads. Basically, guys, question of the day. What motivates you to get off the couch? All right. What motivates you? What inspires you? However you want to kind of, you know, think about in your mind, in your brain. Okay, I'm sitting and now I'm putting my shoes on. I'm opening the front door. I'm hitting start on my watch and I'm moving forward. What is that motivate? Where does that motivation and inspiration come from? It's kind of, it could be a deep, you might have to pause this video for a second and really think about it. All right. Thanks for being here. You're amazing as always. And if you gleaned a little inspiration today, a little inspiration, maybe, maybe there's a runner out there that needs to see this video. Uh huh? Somebody that's on the fence, somebody that's struggling with running, maybe somebody, somebody that's struggling with an injury and they're like trying to come back. I don't know. Share this video around any of the videos that I'm making, but especially this one. Um, I just want to, I want to make sure that we're reaching the people that need to put that foot in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot and get moving again. Does that make sense? So I'd appreciate it if you shared it around. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow.